All right, so welcome to the uh, System Center Operations Manager 2012 Beta Series Gateway Server Part 2. Now we're going to apply our, uh, our uh, certificates from the template that we created. So we're going to go back to HTTP um, lab CA issue forward slash CERT SRV. And once we browse to that, we're going to go ahead and download a CA certificate or CRL. And right now I'm doing this on the uh, Opsman Gateway server. So you download a CA chain, you go ahead and save it to the desktop. Now you'll notice I was able to get through um, all the ActiveX prompts and all that. Uh, that's because I'd already set up the security on this server. So. Um, We'll get that to that later. So now uh, open up your certificates MMC, go to Trusted Certificate Authorities. You're going to go to All Tasks, Import. We're going to browse for that certificate that we just downloaded on the desktop. And you have to view all files to be able to see it. So go ahead and import that. And our import successful. So if you go to your uh, Trusted Root Authorities, you should see Lab Issuing CA or whatever your your uh, issuing server is called. Now on the RMS2 we're going to go ahead and configure IE ESC, turn it off. We're going to then browse to our cert serve again. download a CA certificate or chain or CRL and notice our pop-up here we'll get back to that in a minute so we'll download our certificate chain there and save it to the desktop go ahead and open up our MMC but before we do that let's go to internet options you want to go to trusted sites, add the lab issue CA, remove, require HTTPS before doing so, and then go back to internet options, security, trusted sites, and go to custom level. And I'm going to try to go kind of slow with these. So basically, you want to just go ahead and enable uh, the, the ones featured here. So allow scriptlets prompt. Automatic prompting enabled. Download unsigned prompt. Initialize ActiveX controls prompt. And I think that'll just about do it. I'm kind of going from memory, so um, there was a write-up on this, and I've, I've lost track of where that was, so I apologize, but you can probably just Google search if you have any problems. So now we're going to open up our MMC, and we are going to add our snap-in. We're going to choose certificates and computer accounts. Then hit finish. And just like we did on our gateway server, then we're going to go ahead and import browse to our desktop show all files and grab our cert new and import that as well and we're placing it in the root CA store trusted root certificate store so there's lab issuing CA um, we now have it for both our RMS and our gateway Now the next step is to actually download our template. So we go back to our cert serve, request the certificate, create a CA request,
And if you don't see create an advanced uh, request, sometimes you have to re-authenticate. Especially in the case of the gateway since it's not in the trusted domain. So now we're going to go ahead and authenticate with our uh, lab credentials. And we, this is the uh, test lab that we're in right now. We're back on the gateway server. So now when we hit request a certificate, we see advanced certificate request as we should. Then we're going to create or submit a request to the CA. Click through all yes on all our prompts and whatnot. We're going to grab the operations manager 2012 cert that we created in our previous uh, video. We're going to paste in the uh, attributes that um, Pete Zerger has on his walkthrough that I'll link and we'll ping our local host and it's a best practice to go ahead and name the friendly name and the name of the certificate your FQDN so we're gonna go ahead and just paste that in it's a quick little trick trick to paste it in uh, hit submit wait for our response and click yes click yes again and we're going to install the certificate so this part is complete and I'm going to take a slight departure from uh, Pete's uh, walkthrough on how to export the certificate I find this to be easiest we're just going to go to content we're going to export the certificate click next export private key personal information exchange then type in password, all lowercase, uh, just for the uh, the ease of, of use in the labs here, and hit next. We're going to browse to the desktop, and we're going to paste in our FQDN as the name of the cert. Hit next, finish, and our export is successful. So now we're going to move over to our management server and download the SCOM template from our cert serve. We're going to do request a certificate and then advanced request. Create and submit to root CA. Or to CA, I apologize. Hit yes. Yes. We're going to pick our operations manager 2012 cert. And once again, we're going to ping localhost. After we get our attributes, from Pete's write-up, that is. Copy our FQDN. Paste it in the name and friendly name. Hit submit. Click yes. Yes. Install this certificate. We're going to go to Tools, Internet Options, Content, Certificates. We're going to export our cert, export the private key, personal information exchange, password as the password, all lowercase. We're going to save this to the desktop as well for the root management server, then paste in the FQDN as the name of the certificate. And now we've exported this concert. Next, you will copy the support tools over to your desktop or wherever you might want to put them. And you want to copy your certificate into that location. And I'm going with AMD64 because of the fact that this is a 64 bit system. Then you will go ahead and run the uh, command prompt and paste in the script example from Beats uh, walkthrough. And you will see successfully installed the certificate. And we will do that first on the ops, uh, Opsman management server. So the next step is to go ahead and copy the Microsoft Enterprise Management Gateway Approval Tool 
uh, anything related to that into your support tools folder as well. And actually, what I'm doing here is I'm going to copy it into the setup, the root of the setup where uh, where Pete's uh, write-up recommends. So you just search your setup tools for gateway, head on over to Program, System Center Operations Manager, Setup, and just paste that in the root. Then go ahead and Control click, right click on the folder, I believe it is. It should give you open in command prompt. And we're going to copy our, our script from the cheat sheet here. And we're going to paste that into the window and run it. And this is actually approving the gateway server in the operations manager console or in the management group, if you will. So now you'll see that the uh, approval of the server, the test lab gateway has been successful. Now we're going to move on back to the gateway. And we're going to go ahead and copy our certificate in the directory that the mom Insert import tool is in, just like we did on the previous server. We go up a level, control right click. And you want to make sure you have PFX in the uh, for the name of the cert before you run this. So we're going to paste in our import in the command prompt. And then we've imported it successfully. Now two things to note, this is a previous lab that I've been working in. Um, so my, um, my gateway had already previously been set up, so I'm going to remove that. And another thing to note is I'm not sure if I had the order of the certificate import um, wrong. In other words, I'm not sure if I should have run that after the uh, the gateway uh, setup tool. So we're going to go ahead and just reinstall uh, the gateway setup tool. We're going to put the FQDN of the management server. We're going to put in our management group. So bear with me, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that FQDN just to be on the safe side. And we're gonna go ahead and set up our uh, our user account. So I made a service account and it's in the local administrator group on this uh, on the gateway, which is also kind of considered a management server. So I've got the OM underscore uh, gateway action, or GWA. So we're going to unplug that in. Plug in the password. Then uh, hit next and install. This is going to actually set up the gateway. And uh, the gateway folder can be located in your uh, SCOM setup or SCOM support tools. And like I said, just be on the safe side. After we run this, I'm going to go ahead and import the cert one more time. And uh, I'm sure whatever Pete's uh, write-up instructions say to do are probably the, is the correct order.
So we'll go ahead and run this, uh, this import one more time. And successful. So uh, the next step is to stop and start the uh, system center health service on, on the gateway. So we just go to system center manager. And we're going to just restart it. And then we're going to go to Diagnostics, Event Viewer, Application, Service Logs. Operations Manager. And then as we can see here, we had an error from earlier, but now we have a lot of uh, sort of informational cues that tell us that this was probably a success. So now we're going to move over to our SCOM console and choose administration. management servers. Let me go ahead and refresh. And uh, there I have, for the first time, my uh, green health state indicating that my gateway is in fact talking to my SCOM servers. So that is the, the second of a three-part video series. The next part is going to showcase uh, actually adding an agent uh, in an untrusted domain.